Morning. How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Michael. Monday morning, fresh off the school bus. So, we're starting another week. Guys, we're already more than halfway through September. It just turned August. How are we this far in September? It's insane. I have a strange theory over the past several years, and that is I think that time has somehow sped up. And I stand by it. I don't have proof, but I think time has sped up. So, anyway, I had a decent two days off. Uh, on my two days off, I pretty much just sit and do nothing. That's what two days off means. <laughs> Monday through Friday, it's go time. Walking, spinning on a bike, working out, having to worry about meals and making sure I'm getting some sort of food in me. Even though I'm never super hungry. Uh, so today is, of course, leg and chest day. And as I've mentioned here the last couple of weeks or so, uh, my workouts are kind of uh, getting shortened. I'm kind of shortening them up a little bit. I'm not killing myself. Just, uh, you know, from moving and or from, you know, packing and just got a lot going on. It kind of, you know, it's kind of what's on your mind. And so I want to make sure when I work out that that's what's on my mind and not everything else. So I'm just kind of, you know, tone things down just a little bit. But we're still good. We're still, we're still progressing quite well. So I have a feeling once we get moved and I get in my gym and I get everything set up and going, I think, I think I'm in for a, a new beginning of sorts. So, I've been kind of negative about this whole experience, the house that we're getting, the area that we're living in, that we're going to be living in, and just kind of everything. I've been kind of negative, and I want to try and be a little bit positive. Uh, I don't like being negative all the time. I have a bad habit of being that way whether I am like that on the videos or not I'm kind of just I'm a negative person I think the older you get sometimes you get that way but uh, anyway I think once I get in my new spot and uh, get things going I think <coughs> pardon me I'm, I think I'm gonna die Anyway, I think things are going to perk up a little bit. I really do. So, the only real thing I'm not looking forward to is my bus parking. It's not going to be as convenient and wonderful <coughs> as I have right now. That's my biggest concern about our move, about this new place. Uh, I have a place picked out in the front of the house that's it's okay for it. I gotta take down about eight feet of some chain link fence to uh, make it a little bit more accessible. I've already contacted the city, uh, whoever, uh, the lady that's in charge of all that, and, she said she sees no problem. I hope that girl waved. She better have waved or I'll chase her down and smack her right in the dead gum back of the head. Nah, anyway. Uh, so yeah. So there's that spot in front of the house where I'm looking at parking. And uh, 
unfortunately it's on a kind of a busy street right there by an elementary school and the high school so I have a feeling it's gonna be rough for me to get in and out of there that's what she said so we'll see we'll see what happens uh, so uh, also um, I got I got uh, not permission but I got the, the okay from my son and my wife, mostly my son, <laughs> to uh, close in the carport, and that's gonna be my office. Just like I've had, you know, a bedroom here as my office. Uh, I'm gonna close the carport in and uh, make that my office where I can have my computer and my drums and, <coughs> and, uh, all my action figures and all my goodies back up where they go and so that's a project that I have to do I may do it myself or I may hire it out I don't know it just depends so Ooh, the sun's going pretty good. Hello, tree. So, whew, I got things lined up uh, for a guy to come out. He has a company uh, that hauls off stuff and garbage and all that kind of stuff. So, I got him lined up. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude was swinging around that corner like he wanted to take me out. What's up with people? Anyway. So I got a guy lined up to come out and haul off all of our garbage and stuff. I got the U-Haul lined up two days before we have to be out of the house. That way I can kind of take my time which I probably won't take my time because I'm pretty crazy so I'll be getting stuff done uh, if we had the if we had a truck now it uh, <laughs> we'd have like our bed and that's it so <sighs> so I got I'm gonna have a few days off there probably where I'm not going to be walking or spinning or working out. <sighs> oh, I want to send a, a congratulations to my buddy, John, over at Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. He got a gold medal in the Senior Olympics for shot put and discus and uh he did real good it's pretty cool glad he was successful <clears throat> go check out his channel if you haven't already mac bean m-a-c bean mac bean scottish you know how to spell that fitness so, anywho, <sighs> this weekend, man, whenever you decide that you're not going to work out or be active or do anything, it's, it's nice. I enjoy it. But at the same time, I feel really guilty for just sitting there. Of course, I wash some dishes and do clothes, you know. I do some, I do a little housework, guys. But I'm pretty much just sitting there doing nothing. I hope that changes.
where we're moving is actually on one of my old bicycle routes when I cycled for five and a half years I mean it's right there right on the main right on the main area so I may start breaking out the bicycle on the weekend and just kind of making some rounds on the weekends just to give me something to do and uh, one reason or I'll say the whole reason the reason I kind of stopped cycling is because I was walking cycling and working out my walks take me a good 35 minutes cycling was well, if I can speak cycling takes me anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half for my normal routes that I did and then working out can take you know 30 minutes an hour a little bit more so that's a lot of time that I was investing you know and it became very stressful so and uh, another reason that I decided to stop cycling is where I live the main road that I get on instantly out of my neighborhood is the worst road I've ever been on and I've literally been all over this county and I'm talking about the main highways through this county and I, I don't feel in danger as much as I do just on this little strip of road out here because this strip of road has about five hills that do this and people pass on them and people have went around me and had to go over in the ditch and because motorists don't have patience and they don't care they don't care who they hurt so after five and a half years I finally just said okay I'm done so I instantly I got that uh, exercise bike that fan bike that you see me ride sometimes or spin on I got that and I've been doing that ever since every day so uh, but maybe once we get out here at this other place you know it's on a safe area so maybe on the weekends I'll pop out there and ride a little bit I may not do full long distance you know longer distance kind of rides like I always did but I'm gonna do something so whew. yeah anyway guys it's uh it's getting there time's moving on so I'm tired of holding this phone I need someone to walk along with me so they can hold the phone Whew. anyway guys hope you have a good day have a good week do something healthy for yourself inside and out and uh like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down <sighs> and get up get out get red do it to it we'll see y'all later see ya Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!